My name's Natalie Hodgkinson and I'm the owner of my own cleaning company called Blesses Miss Cleaning Services. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean a toilet professionally and properly. Let's start. Okay, so first things first, I like to add a little bit of cleaning product down into the inside of the toilet, making sure to get underneath the rim because that's where the bacteria and the dirt mostly sits. This toilet brush and I give it a really, really good scrub making sure to get right into the rim when you're using the brush to make sure you get rid of all the, the bits. See the things falling out from underneath the rim. So you get that really nice and clean, really good scrub. And then I like to leave the toilet brush to sit in the solution so that the cleaning fluid can get to work and so that the, it also stabilizes the toilet brush as well. So I'm gonna start cleaning the toilet from the outside uh, now that I've cleaned the inside and left the toilet brush in the solution, I'm using a damp blue cloth today. Um, I always colour code my cloths. It's really, really important to colour code cloths because you don't want to end up cross-contaminating and spreading germs from the toilet to the sink by using the same cloth or mixing up cloths and things. So it's really important that you make sure you do that. So firstly, I spray cleaning fluid onto the surfaces on the outside of the toilet. Starting from the top, making sure you give it a really good clean around the um, toilet button or the toilet handle, whatever you have on the toilet, around the sides of the cistern and at the front, making sure you get everything and make sure you get along this rim just here. Okay, it's good to use a toothbrush sometimes. I don't need to use a toothbrush because um, it's quite clean under there at the moment. So, um, but a lot of bacteria and dirt builds up right there in that little. Uh, crevice just along here so it's really important to keep that nice and clean so then cleaning from the outside of the toilet inwards so making sure to get down the sides of the toilet the front of the pan on the outside all the way down to the floor you never know if there's any drips or things and also dust can just come up, uh, along there so you don't want it to be dirty so then we go um, on the inside of the toilet, starting with the inside of the lid. And we do it this way around because we don't want to end up spreading the bacteria from the toilet seat to the outside of the toilet while we're cleaning. So it's always best to do it this way around, cleaning from the outside in. So then I spray some solution onto the cloth. Um, so I can get the inside because I don't want to spray it onto, directly onto the toilet in case it mixes with the fluid in there and we do not want to mix chemicals. It's really important we don't do that. So then I clean the underneath, of the underneath of the seat, making sure to get these bumper cushions here because they're obviously what touch is the main sort of seat of the toilet and that's where bacteria can build. Okay. So I'm going to rinse my cloth and then we're going to give it the toilet I work with a nice clean wet cloth. So I'll rinse my cloth and I'm going to go through the same motion again, just this time with a wet cloth with no cleaning chemicals to remove the chemicals that we've used to clean the toilet. So doing the same motion again, the same um, strategy as well. So with the outside of the toilet first, working our way around. Okay, so with regards to um, colour coded cloths, it doesn't matter what colour you use, just remember that you, you know, stick to one colour for the toilet, one colour for the sinks, and one colour for the glass. I always have four cloths when I clean the bathroom because I like to have one to dry the taps and the bath and things with. Okay, so that's lovely and clean now. So. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry the toilet because nobody likes to sit on a wet toilet seat and also it um, encourages bacteria growth. So I'm just using some toilet paper to dry it off with. It absorbs the water easier and it's a little bit more hygienic. So the same sort of motion. This time because it's actually already clean, um, I don't mind which um, which way around I sort of dry the toilet, but I always go from the outside in. Okay, 
So, the toilet's now perfectly sparkling clean and I'm going to rinse the toilet brush and flush down the solution. Okay, and there we have the beautifully clean toilet.